Hi folks! So this is what I've been working on all week. Um, I finished one today. Well, pretty much finished. I'll explain what I mean. But I wanted to show you what I've been doing with it. So these are, I received this as a gift, these two books, from a very generous friend. I was thrilled. So I used vinyl to put Disney 2018 on the front and I used um, a font from that I downloaded from the font. Uh, it's called Waltograph and it's a pretty close imitation of the Disney font. So the Disney itself is a design space image. The 2018 I used Waltograph. So here we go. So in the book binding you have these plastic tabs that I really didn't like how they looked so I added a piece of red vinyl to them and I did like that they were functional because it would be a good place for the to um, for the children to preserve the cards that I gave them to surprise them that they were going to Disney so on the inside cover I just added some Disney paper and a graphic oh boy and I used um, wink of Stella clear wink of Stella to add glitter to it I don't know if you can see that the glitter in it maybe some of it but there you go a little bit on her bow on Minnie's bow so that is just the beginning of the book pop that up so here we go um, I had this graphic paper that I bought Disney paper from Amazon Canada and this Mickey was printed on it and it's kind of foiled I'm not quite sure what it, how it's done but you can see the shine in it there you go I really like it so my plan is of course to add a photograph to it so I say they're finished but not quite finished because when we get home from this Disney trip I will add photographs and mementos to the books before I give them to the two families, my sons and their wives and beautiful children. And So here again, I can write a comment in here after I add a photo to it. And this paper is on this side is kind of glittered. Um, pretty hard to see. You can see all the glitter on the Pluto but the stars themselves with the Mickey heads are all glittered and this is just a corner I added it's the back of this paper I added a corner to it this is the back of another paper I'm not maybe this one that I added as a border and here we have Rapunzel and a palace that might have been um, Aurora Rose's palace I'm not sure but I liked it and I glittered with Wink of Stella all the the peaks and, and the door and the windows. And I put some glitter on her hair. And a lot of this is done with die cuts that I purchased and print and cut for the characters I was missing. Um, we have Cinderella and her, cal her palace. And I have the little pillow with a glass slipper and just a little... Um, embellishment that says sweet so I will embellish more and put photo corners on and frames that kind of thing as I as I add the photos we have Daisy Duck and some flowers heart border Minnie Mouse and again on these I added Wink of Stella to add glitter to them so hard to see the glitter but it's glittered, the trim is glittered, her shoes. And Daisy Duck is all, has her bow glittered and the flower and the heart on her purse. I love Wink of Stella, the clear one. I really like it. It just, it doesn't change the color. It just adds glitter. I buy that Michaels with um, a coupon. So on these two pages, we have Donald Duck and we have Pluto. There isn't a whole lot of room to add a photo. So what I thought I would do is get their um, gift cards back after they're finished shopping. And maybe I'll attach this on the inside 
and maybe put the cards separately or something and put some tickets there or something like that and add it to the inside but I'm not going to glue it now obviously because I have to give it to them and this paper was printed on the Disney paper that I ordered on Amazon Canada these were at, and these were printed on and I glittered the bone and Pluto and his collar and his bull and Donald Duck I glittered his bow tie and the stars around him all with Wink of Stella and I actually purchased tickets for a Marvel character dinner at Universal Studios so I thought we definitely have to have some pages dedicated to superheroes so we have Captain America and this is foil and vinyl Cricut foil and Cricut vinyl that I added to the cardstock Wink of Stella on some stars I cut out with my maker and this is a print and cut Captain America we have a print and cut um, Iron Man and his logo that is that I actually did Wink of Stella on that also and these are from Design Space we have Spider-Man he's going to be at the dinner and so is Captain America and I cut out a web from Design Space and I added glitter to it you can't really see it can you no you can't really see it the Spider-Man I uploaded in Design Space app I absolutely love it um, before we had the upload ability in the app I rarely uploaded a picture because I love to use the app so I would use whatever was there but I feel like since they added the feature that we can upload in the app I've done a lot more with cleaning up pictures uploading characters for this book that I really like so I uploaded Spider-Man and print and cut to put him in the book he's actually my grandsons, two of them, their favorite hero, so he had to be in the book for sure. And this young lady is in Design Space. She's Black Widow, I think she's called. Black Widow. I better look at that because I'm not sure and I don't want to get it wrong when I tell my go talk to my grandchildren. So I added a page for her and I hope we'll get lots of pictures at the character dinner and be able to put at least four of them in here would be terrific. And then we have Aurora Rose and I put this embellishment on and a butterfly and once I add a photo I think I'll add something like rose borders or something else like that to it. This paper reminds me of blue tiles that I saw all around Turkey and in um, on palace walls and in mosques and everywhere that I went around Turkey and Istanbul I saw these beautiful tiles so when I was putting Aladdin and Princess Jasmine into the book I thought I have to use that paper because it reminds me makes me think of it doesn't look like a tile that I saw but it makes me think of the tiles that I saw so I did that and stars to signify that she's floating on her magic carpet. So stars to signify that she's off the ground. I think that'll be fun to add a picture. And of course Harry Potter will definitely be going to Universal Studios. So we had to have Harry and Hermione. Hermione, I think you say? and I made these little logos print and cut these are print and cut uploaded through the app and I just added after I printed I added a little glitter to their outfits so that you could to dress them up a little and I put glitter and Wink of Stella on the broom when I say glitter I mean Wink of Stella on the broom ties on his emblem and around his collar on his cuff and on Hermione I put a little bit in her hair to make it sparkle on her collar her belt and her school logo so these are all all of these are print and cut actually the eyeglasses are in design space I had them in design space I'm not sure if I uploaded them or if they were already there and I took um, a lightning bolt and just made it skinnier so it looked more like what was on Harry Potter's forehead 
and then we get back to princesses. So we have Sleeping Beauty, Snow White. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, Snow White. And we have one of the doors. And I'm going to do some more print and cuts to add some more characters like this along the bottom with a photo. And what I've done is left the picture part, the photo character partially loose so that I would be able to add a photo behind it and put corners on the other three sides or three corners. And I did the same with Ariel so that I would be able to cut the photo behind and add corners and I'll add some more fish or shells or things to the page to dress it up once I add the photos. We have Beauty and the Beast, Belle. I know her name. My granddaughter had me watch the movie twice in a row when I babysat her. I know this is Belle and the Beast. And Mr. Clock, I can't remember his name. I'll have to ask my granddaughter. So we're going to, um, we have Fast Pass for um, Beauty and the Beast performance on stage at Disney, at Magic Kingdom. So we should be able to get a nice photo to put there. We have the princess and the frog and Louie. I really like this one. And we're staying at Disney Port Orleans. Um, so I thought I absolutely have to have this movie represented in the memory book. I love this. And as we got to the end of the book, I used up some more print and cuts that I had done and glittered with Wink of Stella on her hair, on her bow. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can kind of see it. And her shoes and this little, just to use them up and to fill the last pages. I did Goofy and added a little Donald Duck with a bit of Wink of Stella on it. And on the last page, I added Pluto again. I'm not sure if he'll stay or not. I guess as I add pictures, I might change this up for something else. And in the back, I did the red vinyl on the binding again that I don't like. And I just made um, like a double envelope so that I could put a lot of extra pictures in there for the kids. that will have a, a spot of its own. And this is just the back inside cover. We have a crabby looking Donald Duck and a silly Goofy with some stars and some polka dots because polka dots are so Disney. And there we go. I haven't done anything on the back. I'm not sure what I'll do with the back yet. I have to think it over. But that's it. So this one is complete until I add photos and finish embellishing, af embellishing after our trip. And I have this one to finish up. I've only done the first four or five pages. I'm doing them pretty much the same. I might change cardstock if I'm missing one and use something else, but the characters will be the same. And it's grandchildren in two families. I want to make sure that their books are pretty much the same so we don't have um, any mix up in the books or so that's it so i hope you enjoyed seeing my disney memory books i'm having a blast making them i'm sure i couldn't do these without my cricut machines thank you for watching